In this video, I'm going to talk about CIS 30A Lab 1 Exercise 7 Cloud Storage Costs using variable and operators. Um, so the task is given to you here. A cloud company charges clients $100 per month to store 750 gigabyte of data. Each additional gigabyte will cost the client $5. Um, you are to create a Python program that prompt the user to input the amount of data being stored on the cloud then calculate the cost of the cloud storage based on the input. Um, in this program, we're not using control statement like if else. Um, you can if you like, however, we're not doing that. We're simply going to implement operators and variables at the very simple level. So first, you need to create a variable that prompt the user to input the data for storage needs. Then we want to use the variable to store additional data storage amount and we would use the print method to display the cost of the cloud storage. You need to take the screen capture of the program once you complete it and paste it onto the document that you will be uploading for Canvas submission. So to illustrate this program, I'm going to use Tani. Um, so to start, I have a variable called customer storage and this variable is going to store the user input and for the user input I ask the user to enter the storage need in gigabyte. So for Python inside the input parameter I input the prompt to the user in string here and I wanted to parse this as integer. Uh, you can do this as float, however, as the user input, we wanted to convert that to a number. So we wanted to process an integer and using int in the front here allows us to do that. Then I have another variable called monthly cost and that will cost the customer $100 per month. Additional storage, we wanted to take the amount of storage that they need subtracted by 750 because the additional storage costs needs to be, uh, each gigabyte needs to be an additional $5. Uh, so we wanted to find the difference from the, the base, which is 750 gigabyte for $100 a month. Once we have the additional storage, we need to calculate the additional fee, which will be additional storage times $5. So for each gigabyte that's over 750, we need to multiply that by $5. Um, then we would have a total cost variable that's going to store additional fee plus monthly costs. So the monthly cost, we know that it's $100 and additional fee is what we calculate by multiplying the $5 with the additional storage. Then we are going to print that out showing our total cost for the customer. So when we run this program, it's going to prompt me to enter the storage needed for in gigabyte. So let's say that I enter 900. And it's going to tell me that my monthly cost and additional storage cost is going to be uh, $850. Now we can format this to show two decimal value at the dollar sign. So there would be much more that we can touch it up so it would look a little bit better. However, this program works because it shows me the additional cost. So as the customer have 150 gigabyte over the base which is 750 gigabyte multiply that by 5 which gives and add that to the original cost which gives us $850 that's required for the monthly so to recapture this program we have a, a variable uh, to store the user input, we parse the user input into integers. Um, we have another variable called monthly cost that's going to store the given value, which is $100. Then we have a third variable called additional storage, and that's going to store the difference between the user input and the base gigabyte value, which is 750 
So we wanted to find out how much more additional storage that the customer needs. And then we would calculate the additional fee by taking that additional storage multiplied by 5. Once we have the additional fee, we would add that to the monthly cost to get our total cost. And we would print out the total cost with the additional storage cost is, um, and that would be the amount. So that would complete our program for lap one exercise six.